Hello everybody. Today we will be looking into the basics of quadratic equations. The quadratic equation is basically a polynomial, okay? But with order 2. In case if you have a polynomial like this, uh, say p of x equals ax plus b, okay? You call it a linear equation because the order, uh, the degree here, highest degree here is 1. So this is a linear equation. So here the quadratic equation is 1 which is with the uh, degree, higher degree would be 2. Okay. So the general form of a quadratic equation is this. That is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay. And this a, b and c are constants. Never can you have your a as 0. So just let's take this example. Imagine your a is 0. So if this would be like 0x squared uh, plus 3x plus 5. Take this for example. So what happens the, when this x squared is 0, when the coefficient of x squared is 0, you don't have this term at all, right? Then this equation is is a linear equation it is no more a quadratic equation for a quadratic equation your uh, higher degree should be 2 it, it is order 2 okay so this would become a linear equation and it, this you cannot call it a quadratic equation okay another example I would give you I would just make this 3x square and this time I'm going to take b as 0 okay plus b okay 0 I take b as 0, 0x zero plus 5. In this case, you can call this a quadratic equation even though you don't have a b term. So see, when I simplify, this becomes 3x squared plus 5, right? Because the 0 is gone, 0x zero is gone. So you just have this. Even though you have only two terms here, this is considered as a quadratic equation because the order here is, highest order here is, Understood? Now, the next is when c is 0. So, let's take one such example. So, see, the same uh, 3x squared plus 5x. Okay? And this time I take the c as 0. Then, you don't have the c term. So, you will be uh, left with 3x squared plus 5x. It doesn't matter because here the highest degree is again 2, right? So that doesn't matter. It, it makes it a quadratic equation only. I hope you understood what is a quadratic equation. Though the general form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, you may have the b and c term equal to 0, but never a is 0. Next thing you should know is when you solve a quadratic equation, since the order is 2, I told you for a quadratic equation, the order is 2, right? So when you have the order as 2, you would have two solutions, two solutions for the equation. And we call this as roots of the equation. Okay, this you can call it as roots. And normally we take alpha and beta to represent that. Here, now that you know what a quadratic equation looks like, you have few problems. You may get few problems here like, you know, to find out whether the given equation is a quadratic equation. So try to solve it, factorize and bring. Uh, for a quadratic equation, you know, all the terms will be on your left side, right? And make the right side zero and see if it is in the form of a quadratic equation. This is like a plus b the whole square, right? x plus 1 the whole square is like a plus b the whole square. So I am just expanding. So uh, your x plus 1 the whole square will be a square. a square is x square, right? Here a is x and b is 1. Plus 2ab plus 2 times x times x is a and 1 plus 2ab plus b square. b is 1, right? So 1 square. So I have expanded this one. And the other one, I'm just going to distribute, okay? I'm going to use the distributive property. So that would be 2x minus 6. 
So this is again, this could be written as x square. 2 times x times 1 is 2x, right? Plus 2x plus 1. On the left, 1 square is 1. Now I'm just bringing the 2x and this minus 6 to this side. So this becomes minus 2x plus 6, right? And I have made my right side, right hand side 0. Now see what you can, you can put all the like, like terms together. So here this 2x and minus 2x gets cancelled. And now you are left with, because that is plus 2x and minus 2x, that gets, that becomes 0. So I can cancel it. So I get 2x squared, 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 7 equals to 0. Of course, here your b term is 0, but still you can call it a quadratic equation. So it is a quadratic equation. So you can say yes, it is. Okay. Now let's do the next one x squared plus 2x. So, uh, yeah, it is already uh, individual terms only. So, you didn't do anything to it. x squared minus 2x, I write as it is, equals to, I use the distributive property here, okay? Minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. Minus 2 times minus x would give you minus and minus makes it plus, plus 2x. Yeah, bring everything to your right side. First, what you do is you make the terms individual, okay? Or make everything individual terms. And then you bring all your terms from your right to your left. So what happens? This becomes 2x. This is already you have x squared and 2x here. And the other 2x when it comes, it becomes minus 2x. And the 6 when it comes this side, it becomes plus 6, right? The sign changes, okay? Equal to 0. So that is nothing but x square. Now this minus 2x and minus 2x is not cancelled because both has got same sign. So you have to add them. So that would be minus 4x plus 6. Yeah, it is in the general form of a quadratic equation. So you can say yes, it is. Okay. Now let's go on to the third one. Here you have to use the distribution property and uh, make all these terms individual, okay? So x times x would give you x squared. Then x times 1 is 1x, right? So you can write it as x. Minus 2 times x will give you minus 2x, okay? And minus 2 times 1 will give you minus 2. So my left side is done. Now same thing I'm going to do to my right. x times x, square, x is x squared. x times 3 is plus 3x. Minus 1 times x is minus 1x. So I write it as minus x. And minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. Got it? Now bring all these left, right hand side terms to your left side. So this becomes x squared. I just put these two like terms together, okay? So it is plus 1x minus 2x. So that makes it minus x, okay? Minus 1x. And this minus 2. Bring this x square here. So that becomes minus x square. And these two terms together becomes plus 2x, right? So that plus 2x, when I bring it to my left side, it becomes minus 2x. And the 3, minus 3 becomes plus 3, equals to 0. Now what happens? You have x squared and minus x squared. That makes uh, it 0. Then the like terms are this, minus x and minus 2x. That becomes minus 3x. Okay? And minus 2 and plus 3 will make it plus 1 equal to 0. The order of this equation is 1, right? This doesn't make a quadratic equation. No. Okay? It, this is a linear equation. They've just asked you whether it is quadratic or not. You can just stop with yes or no. Yeah, we'll go on to this. Now again, it is the distribution property I'm doing. 
So x times 2x is 2x. x times 1 is 1x plus x minus 3 times 2x is minus 6x. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. And this side I, I distribute again. x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Bring them to the left side. So you have, sorry, here I forgot to put the x squared. You have got 2x squared plus x, my, I mean, okay. This plus x and minus 6x becomes minus 5x. And then you have minus 3 here. So this side it is x squared plus 5x. Just bring everything to one side as we do. Bring it to the left side. So here you have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. And the x squared when it comes it becomes minus x squared minus 5x equals 0, right? So what happens here? 2x squared minus x squared is 1x squared. So that is x squared. Minus 5x and minus 5x is minus 10x. You have to add and put the greater number sign. So that is minus 10x. And then you just left with minus 3. Of course, this is a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I say this is a quadratic equation. So this one is yet another problem like how we did before. Just multiply 2x squared. Then 2x minus 3 is minus 6x. Minus 1 times x is minus x. Minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3. Right? Minus and minus when you multiply it becomes plus. Okay. This side x times x is x squared x times minus x, 1 is minus x, 5 times x is 5x, 5 times minus 1 is minus 5. Bring everything to one side, all terms to one side. You have 2x square, minus 6x and minus x would make it minus 7x, right? Okay. And you have plus 3 here. Bring the x square this side, it becomes minus x square. And this together would have been 4x. So bring the 4x this side. That becomes minus 4x. And it is plus 5. Equal to 0. Now your 2x square minus uh, x square is 1x square. Then you have minus 7x and minus 4x. That is minus 11x. 3 plus 5 which is 8. Okay. And of course this is a quadratic equation. Yes. Here, uh, in this last one, you see it is x plus 2, the whole cube, right? So, I, I would like to remind you the formula of a plus b, the whole cube. So, a plus b, the whole cube is a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Okay, I'm just going to apply this here. Here my a is x and uh, b is 2. So when I expand this, it is a cubed. That is x cubed. Then you have uh, plus 3a square b, right? So that is plus 3a squared is x squared. b is 2. Plus 3ab squared. So a is x, b is 2 the whole square. 2 squared, okay? Plus b cubed. B cube is 8. 2 cube is 8. Okay. And this side I'm going to distribute. This times this is 2x cubed. 2 times this would become minus 2x. Now let me put this in proper way. So this is x cubed. When you multiply this, this becomes plus 6x squared. And here it is plus 12x. Put these together and put these together. Plus 8 you have equals to that equal to or plus 2x cubed. I'm bringing this side. So that becomes minus 2x cubed. 
and that minus 2x when it comes here it becomes plus 2x equals to 0. I have brought it to, you, to my left side. Okay. Now you can uh, put all this together, the like terms together. Your x cube and minus 2x cube makes it minus x cube. Okay. Then you have only one x squared term. So I just write that as it is. So that is 6x squared. And you have two x terms. Put them together. That becomes plus 14x plus 8. And you can easily say it is not a quadratic equation because the highest order here is 3, right? So this is not a quadratic equation. This is a cubic equation. That's it. So when you see this cube, you can definitely say, yeah, this is a cubic, uh, this is going to be a cubic function. But what, you know, sometimes in the right hand side, you may get, get a equal term. So when it comes here, this x cube may get cancelled. So there is a risk of that. So always try to expand and confirm that, confirm your statement. Hope you would have understood this. Thank you. Bye.